Hey guys, welcome back to Fort Mort. It is the day. Look who I got in the background. I've got furry, furry, furry bears. I have another surprise for you too. You're not going to believe who's hanging out today. If I can actually find his camera, here he is with the blue screen in the back. It's RSG Fan! <laughs> What's up, buddy? Howdy, Mort. How are you doing? I'm doing even better now that I got you here, man. We're going to talk about the furry bears today. Guys, there is some viability mm -hmm. here. Everybody at some point has got to get the Ewoks because you got to get C-3PO. So mo for most people, they just sit on the bench. If you've got spare mods sitting around, you need a good cleanup. Say for, uh, they're great for cleaning up GG, Grievous. They, they wipe him up. They, they just can't get a turn. And it, it, there's so much, so many times where you got to get a cleanup team or to use them somewhere. And that's what we're going to talk about today, how to mod these murder bears. Finn, thanks for joining me. So where do you want to start, pal? So let's start with where you would put most of the mods, right? So I think most people know that the murder bears are a pretty death by a thousand paper cuts type of team. They're not going to be your biggest damage dealer, but they do it in a lot of quantity. And so speed is going to be the biggest thing for this team. So where do you think you put most of your speed mods on the Ewok team, which is your main speed character? If I, if I were to guess, I would say, uh, I guess it depends on which roster you're using, but I think Wiki would have to be pretty quick. I would think with the days is log, uh, log rate, of course, Elder for the revives, but you know better than me. That's why I brought you on today. So in actuality, it's Paplu. Ah. So this is where a lot of people get messed up. So the characters that you're talking about will all require speed, and you definitely need the speed on Ewok Elder. He's actually going to be the second one that you want with a lot of speed. However, the reason why you want Paplu is because even though his base speed is less than Ewok Elder, the key to Paplu is that his unique gives him 25% extra speed whenever he doesn't have a taunt active, which is at the start of the battle, I which means that. that his speed is actually faster than Ewok Elder. So when you're modding the Ewok team, you want to start off with Paplu being your fastest. It's funny you say that because the C3PO mm -hmm. event, the way when I finally beat it, I just threw a ton of speed on Paplu. I was like, I gotta try mm -hmm. something. Sure enough. Yes. That did mm -hmm. it. That that will pretty much do it. And it's going to start the turn meter roll for your entire Ewok team. Because the first action that you use on Paplu is usually not gonna be the tongue. You have enough turn meter gain with Wicket with his AoE, as well as Logre with his turn meter gain, that you can get Paplu to go again and get his taunt off on his second turn. In the first turn, you're going to use his Galvanize ability, and you're going to call Ewok Elder. Ewok Elder is going to be able to produce turn meter for your team on two different possibilities. So Ewok Elder is going to be your second fastest character. Galvanize from Paplu, when you call a particular Ewok with that ability, and you'll call Ewok Elder, they gain 10% turn meter. So now you are forcing Ewok Elder to go second, which is the way that you want it. But in addition, you're also calling him to assist. Ewok Elder's basic has a chance of giving all the Ewoks extra turn meter. And so this is how the turn meter train for the Ewoks really start to get rolling. You start off with Paplu, you call Ewok Elder, Ewok Elder assists with his basic, all, may feed turn meters, a 60% 60%, chance, and yeah. you want to mix. Yep, and you want to make sure that ability is maxed out, by the way. And then he will get full turn meter because he's gaining 10% turn meter from the Paplu ability. And so then you can go and basic with Ewok Elder one more time and try to feed turn meter to your entire team. And so if the rest of your Ewoks are loaded with speed between those two attacks and a 60% chance to get that turn meter, you are looking at a good chance of having all of your Ewoks just rolling after that point. I am so and glad so, we did this today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just learned a lot. I really did. Mm -hmm. The Ewoks are, they are so much fun. And I know you mentioned like they're a good cleanup team against a Grievous, like a, like a solo Grievous when he's left over. And that's true. However, they can actually take out a team that a lot of people still see, depending on which division you're in, which is Old Republic. Yes, yes, they can. Yes, they, they can. They take yep. out Old Republic like it's nobody's business as long as your gear is somewhat similar. If you have it modded 
an old republic team without a t3 t3 does make it a little more difficult because of the de the defense penetration that he provides yeah however the team of like karth Candorus, zalbar mission and like a juhani yeah yep. the ewoks crush them mm -hmm. i use it all the time they take them out so that is the team that if you're if you're looking for a team and not wanting to use something too uh strong like a thrawn and then you're like fracturing zalbar and all these kind of things yep he walks nice walks are the way to go right there. nice what else do you recommend them to take out with um i mean they they are a really good cleanup team now the only thing you have to be careful about is if you are facing somebody with a daze right yeah. so if you're facing someone with a daze they need the you're assist. always gonna yeah yes you're gonna need the assist. You have the turn meter gain. Like that is really what, com like, really makes up the Ewok team. And so, if you're facing somebody with the days, be extremely careful. This is why Nest is a really good counter yep. against Ewoks. Mm -hmm. So, um, when you're deciding who you're gonna clean up yeah. against, anyone without a days will usually be pretty good um, for Ewoks to take out. And of course, a little bit of RNG because if you're going in against somebody with turn meter. You just need Ewok Elder to survive. Ewok Elder has two ways of getting people back up, right? Yep. He has two specials that yep. res, one guaranteed, one chance. But as long as Ewok Elder survives, so a little bit of RNG luck, the Ewok can take out anyone that in like a in a cleanup thing that yep. doesn't really prevent turn meter gain and doesn't really have too much um like healing without it being their turn type of thing right so, which is why malik for example is not a good right uh, so good let target. me ask you a question do you know how to counter to stop them from bringing nest in so i know a way to, i know a way to make them to time them out and that's a, there is a, a way to a, beat nest a high-end potency on log right in order to get that so, days and land it on her right so the days is definitely important so if you're facing a tenacity mm -hmm. nest a high potency log ray is going to be what you need to do. But in all honesty, a high tenacity nest is going to be very difficult for Ewoks to stop. But that is the way. The other way, and it, it's it really is the only way to beat nest, is, again, it's a little bit of RNG because you need to get the turn meter sequencing correct. Mm -hmm. But you need Wicket to go right after nest because Wicket's special does a crap ton of damage wicked is yep. going to be your main damage dealer yep. so if you can get wicked with a lot of crit damage and ultimately what you're going to mod him for you're going to mod him for speed but he doesn't need a speed set you actually probably want to put a crit damage set and a crit chance set you're going to want speed secondaries but you're going to want to maximize his crit chance because that's what his uh, aoe ability generates its turn meter off of but his gorilla strike is a ton of damage and so if you can time wicket to go right after nest takes a turn and loses all that bonus protection you can take out nest with ewoks i've done it before but it does become a little bit of chance and you have to be very cautious about how you're manipulating the turn meter but there's so much rng involved that it's really oh. hard to land for that yeah big time I, 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 there's no guarantee but in order to make it annoying or to get a timeout or a kill uh, I want. Yep. I put 85% on my on my uh, my log gray, and I see what you're saying about Wicked. I'm looking if I got the mods to do it now. It's a good tip. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so Wicked with crit chance with his AOE is going to be the other kind of like big turn meter generation um, because he generates the turn Hang meter. Hang on a second, Finn. Oh. All right, guys. Sorry, I had to pause real quick. Somebody was beating my door down. The FedEx guy apparently thought it was too important. Please continue, Finn. <laughs> so. With Wicket, his AOE is going to be really important because it generates 10% turn meter for every crit chance for every critical hit that it does. Mm -hmm. So a high crit chance is really important. That's why you want that two priest crit chance. Even though you're using a crit damage set uh, and a crit damage triangle, you're going to be looking for mods that have speed and crit chance. So some of those mods that you have with their speed and there's crit chance, but neither of them are really maxed out. And you're like, I don't know what I'm going to do with a two hit speed and a two hit crit chance. Uh -huh. Wicked is actually a pretty good use for those. Um, so 
one way that you can mod him is with those increased crit chance, increased speed, increased crit damage. Do what you can. Those are the three stats that you're looking at for, for Wicked. And then his Gorilla Strike, like I mentioned, does a ton of damage. And then when you have somebody stealth, his unique kicks in and increases that crit damage some more. So that's why the Ewoks can be a killer for Ness. It's just a little bit of making sure you have them modded correctly, but also, again, turn meter RNG a little bit once the match goes in because there's going to be a lot of turn meter manipulation that's going to be hard to predict, especially like Ewok Elders, a uh, basic damage, which may or may not provide turn meter. For the when Ewoks. you drive a defense, who do you typically put on defense? Which Ewoks do you put, like? With the Ewoks, it is yeah. that same team, actually. Okay. That same team of Paplu, Ewok Elder, Lagre, uh, Wicket, and Chirpa. Chirpa, the Chirpa is the lead. Yep. Yes. Okay. Chirpa you, is the lead. Do you recommend any of the Zetas for these guys? So definitely the Zeta for Chirpa lead. Yep. And that's also going to help you with the, the 3PO event. And if you're going for banners in your uh, GAC, you will want the unique oh. on Wicket because his unique provides healing, which will provide you the yeah. opportunity to regain some protection, regain some health. Yep. Um, the health is probably what you're gonna end up getting more of. And just in general, the the Wicket re uh, recovery is only about 2% on a critical hit from him. So it's still not gonna be very quick, but depending on how, how you go or who you're facing and what the difference is, the Wicket Zeta is the other one that I would recommend. Other than that, the other Zetas are not really needed. You just okay. need those two. All right, perfect. Uh, so let's let's start with uh, let's start with Paplu real quick. How do you prefer to mod him? Full speed. So Paplu should have your full speed mods, um, whatever you can get. And obviously, he's not going to be your A team, right? So you're going to have your A team that has your best mods. But when you get to wherever you think your Ewok team is going to be, whether it's your fifth best team, sixth best team, whatever it is, so a speed um, set, mod them with your best speed set. So a speed set with what, what secondary set? Uh, doesn't matter. No, okay. The, the focus is completely speed. So even if they're a mismatch, Paplu needs to go first. Like that's the critical part. So you don't sacrifice the speed for the two-piece bonus for him. Okay. Doing it now. All right, what about uh, the little wicket? You said crit and crit. Yeah, so crit damage set with the crit chance secondary or the uh, the two piece mod, mm -hmm. and then for all of the secondary stats, you're looking for speed and crit chance. So you're gonna try to optimize his crit chance to as high as you can, because getting those crit chance is what's gonna provide more turn meter for your Ewok team and keeps them rolling. I just rolled a twenty one speed mod while you were talking about looking for one for Paplu. <laughs> there you Sweet. go. That one right there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. And he's not, oh no. <laughs> I just rolled it to a gold. I can't put it on him. Oh. <laughs> I'll, say, I'll put it on somebody else. <laughs> all right, sorry, go ahead. God darn it. Uh, it's all good. We'll figure so, it out. So once you mod Paplu and you have his speed, right? Um, calculate it with whatever the 25% bonus is because that's what Paplu gets uh -huh. um, when he starts it. The reason that's important is because the next fastest character you want is Ewok Elder. Okay. Ewok Elder doesn't get any bonuses. But the reason I was saying to calculate Paplu is because, again, remember that the galvanizability of Wicket or of uh, Paplu provides 10% turn meter to Ewok Elder. So you want to make sure that within 10% of the turn meter of Paplu, you have Ewok Elder as well. And Ewok Elder is simpler because he doesn't have any additional bonuses, sure. right? So simple thing would be that if uh, Paplu has a uh, 200 speed, you need to make sure that Ewok Elder is at least 180, right? So that's just the simple math, but it just depends on what actually Paplu's speed is. You need to make sure that Ewok Elder is within 10% of that. So he will be guaranteed to go after Paplu when Paplu calls Ewok Elder. Okay. And so Ewok Elder will be your next fastest. After that, you're looking at, um, Lagre with speed set, potency set, potency primary on the cross. You're trying to load up on that potency to make sure that he lands the um, the uh, dazes. Uh -huh. But then also you're looking at speed for him as well. So his main focus is speed and potency. And then Chirpa 
Chirpa is going to be all about speed as well. So in terms of pure speed, it's going to be Chirpa, but I would not mod Chirpa before I finish modding Wicket and Logray first, even though Chirp, uh, Chirpa is going to be all speed, if that makes sense. Right. Because Chirpa, you're going to Chirpa's want the there faster. for the lead, but he's the least relevant of the bunch. Exactly. Yeah. And he is going to provide a lot of bonus, not only for his lead, because he provides the retribution, right? So if they start going after Ewok Elder and they don't dispel that retribution, every time Ewok Elder counterattacks, that's a chance for all of your Ewoks to gain turn meter. Okay. Plus, he gives a heal over time. So Chirpa does provide a lot of benefit. He doesn't by himself provide the turn meter train that you need in order to get the ball rolling. That's what Logray does with his turn meter gain, and that's what Wicket does with his AoE. So that's why in terms of how the order in which I would recommend modding them, I would mod them with Paplu first, then Ewok Elder, then Wicket, then uh, Lagre, and then Chirpa. But Wicket, or not Wicket, um, Paplu, Ewok Elder, and Chirpa are going to be all just pure speed sets. That but again, Chirpa lasts because he needs speed the least of the four, but he needs a speed set. Okay. So oh. once you get that, then it's all just a matter of going through the sequence where you use Paplu in order to call Ewok Elder. Ewok Elder then does his basic, and then you can analyze what the field is. Like if the turn meter is too close and you need another sequence of turn, you gain turn. You do the turn meter gain with Logre. If there's only one character that has a lot of speed and your Ewoks otherwise got a lot of speed from Ewok Elder, remove turn meter with Logre and give him a daze and then let Wicket go and provide more turn meter. Like there's a lot of variance in terms of the sequence of abilities for Ewoks mm -hmm. after you get that initial set going of Paplu calling Ewok Elder, Ewok Elder doing a basic, Ewok Elder could have provided a whole bunch of turn meter or no turn meter for your entire Ewok team. And that's where you get uh, Logre and Wicket to fill in and try to boost everyone up and get that, that train rolling. Oh, I need better mods. I can <laughs> I'm struggling to get him over Elder. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> well, who you're trying struggling getting Paplu over Elder? Yeah, I've got him at 178 right now, and Elder's at 181. So I'll get him there. I'll find a way. Does that include the 25% for the unique though? Oh, that's right, because he gets the unique over the top, so he's exactly. automatically. That's right. So actually, he's running 206. Exactly. See, that's what a lot of people forget when yep. they mod Paplu is yep. that his speed is going to appear lower, yep. but his unique kicks in right at the start of battle because he doesn't have taunt at the start. So I'm actually so okay he at will 206. Be I need to bring Elder up around. 195. Uh, no, you can make it a little. He doesn't have to be that high. If you're at 206, you need to be bring Elder just about probably one, 185. Yeah, if you can get him to 185, that would be good. Even yeah. with where you are, you're going to be right around the range where Ewok Elder should go right after Paplu. All right, I could probably get him there for sure. Mm -hmm. What else you got to add? This is good info, man. I'm loving it. Yeah. So the Ewok, the Ewok team again. When you're facing the um. When you're using all of their abilities with Wicked and Paplu, who have the ability to call other Ewoks, um, you want to call Ewok Elder. Not just because of the turn meter gain, but also because you're going to need Ewok Elder to survive because of those reses. And you can stealth Ewok Elder, right? So when you're in that 3PO event, for example, the survival of Ewok Elder is critical for your entire team. Oh, yeah. So make sure that you're calling Ewok Elder with your assists. I will say, however, there is one exception to be, be on the lookout for. You have to make sure when you're playing with the Ewoks, it is a good thing, and with like all characters, but Ewoks in particular, I think it's a really good idea to make sure you understand all of their abilities because the five Ewoks work great. They don't work as well in threes when you have the 3v3 GAC. And that's because all five of the Ewoks in that team bring something unique to that team that allows for them to mesh together and do really well. So you want to be able to utilize their abilities whenever you can. Ewok Elder has the best basic of the team. However, there is one other basic that is very useful, and that is, in fact, Paplu's. That is because Paplu's basic will dispel. Yes. So... If you are, if you have a stealth Ewok Elder, and let's say you're facing that Old Republic team, and that Zalbar has a taunt, but somebody else, like a Karth, is almost dead, and you have it on Wicket's turn, you can use Wicket in order to call Paplu to dispel the taunt off of Zalbar, 
which will then remove the taunt and then you can go after that cart or whoever else is low on hit points. So make sure you're, you don't forget that even though Ewok Elder will usually be your go-to in order to like call to assist another Ewok, Paplu has a dispel on his basic, which can let you get around a lot of taunts. But do, don't forget, there are some that dispelling the taunt really doesn't do much, and that's why they don't work too well against them, like First Order, like Bounty Hunters, Bounty Hunters where Bosk and crew, yeah, they're just not they're just not going to be good for that, because if they get off the taunt, then you get screwed, and you don't really have that like clutch ability block with yep. the Ewoks. That is yep. one of the things that you don't really have with this team that allows you maybe a little more flexibility. So be careful about certain teams, but like Old Republic, you can wreck them. Yeah, yeah, I, I've seen that. I've actually done it. it. It scares me, but if you can get the cleanse off, get the dots off and everything else, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Wow, that's good info. Anything, any last thing you want to add in there, Finn? Yub nub. Yub nub. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's so amazing. You guys know Finn is not, was a gentleman, is not playing the game right now. He's decided to back off the game, uh, taking care of real life stuff. But uh, he was a gentleman and said, I still know Ewoks. I'll come tell you how to mod these babies. So thank you for that, brother. I appreciate it. Of course. RSG for life. Salute to your battalion. Yes, sir. And to RSG. Make sure you guys check them out. I will have them in the bottom. But if you guys don't know them by now, you, I don't even know if you forgot. So make sure you guys check it out. Him, Ranger, the whole crew. Thank you, brother, for joining me. You're amazing. Taking time out of your day. Till next time. Appreciate it, man. Say goodbye All to right. the crew. Thank you, brother. Thank you, guys. Thank you to everyone. And more. Julie says hi. Oh, you just made my day, bro. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> See you, buddy. <laughs> Bye. Shut up and sit down.